What is up, everyone? Um, it's, uh, welcome back to the channel, Fishing with Danny. Um, sadly, still no subscribers. Today we're going to be fishing at a lake. Well, not directly in the lake because today is a day where it's not raining. It's actually very nice. The only problem is it's very cold and a lot of wind, as you guys could hear. So we're not going to be fishing here because this lake shouldn't have waves. But the, this lake is called the Clark Reservoir in Rowe, or Clark. Right on the edge of Roy, right on the edge of Clark. Where we are going to be fishing is at the bottom of the waterfall, which is right on the other side of this wall right here. And um, there's a little bridge because there's a street right here we have to cross to fish. And I fished bass already today. There's nothing biting. Crappy. I got one little bite, and it might have just been snagging something. But we're going to walk over here. That's that's down there. We're going to be more a little bit farther down. But... um. We're gonna be underneath that bridge over there on the other side. And all the wind has set up a um, a little uh, warning sign that my mom has called me telling me about on the news because I didn't hear about it. With all the wind we're having, they want us to stay away from parks and stuff because of the trees. Because we're having like so much wind right now, like it almost blew me into the water. It actually took my hat and my hat is gone now. And I like that hat a lot. It was one of my favorite hats. It's actually my only hat, it's gone now. So that's the waterfall. Down there, I don't think it's deep. I actually think it's only like a foot deep there. I think it's like level. I think it's man-made down there. But that's where we're going to be fishing on the other side of the bridge. And um, I was down there just now. Like I said, nothing. So, uh, yeah, we're going to set up catfish. And... This tree's cracking. This tree is literally cracking. I'm going to move. I literally looked and I heard it. I looked up and it's like cracking at the seam. These trees aren't very strong from what I hear. That right up there is it's rubbing those two points. Here, I'm gonna move before that falls on me. That's actually scaring the hell out of me. But yeah, what we're using today is um uh, a light pound rod for bullheads. Actually a baitcaster rod with a loose spinning reel. A th uh, three, three ball bearing system. And um, we just have, oh shit, that tree's gonna fall. A little one ounce, one ounce triangle weight, and a, I think it's a three aught circle hook, red. And then I'm using uh, turkey meat hot dogs, pre-cut. I cut them at home. And so far, not no bites. I did actually have, I did actually snap off already one time because I snagged the rock. I really don't like that tree. I'm glad I'm going over here. And at the bottom of the, um, the waterfall, it's there's uh the bridge there's walls so if the tree falls I'll just huddle against that wall because pretty sure it ain't gonna fall literally against the wall but anyway um yeah we just gotta wait to see across the street that's our chance we're gonna be fishing down there so let's walk across here all right so once we walk down this little hill it's a little bit steep, not too steep, but it's fine. There's, um, it actually opens up a lot over there. Like if they, I think they stock trout up here, which is in April, because I know they stock the lake that's all the way down that river with trout on in April. I know that. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the that's uh, the gods blowing uh, farting on me a lot. So I have my hot dogs in there right now, so. Let me just pull those out. Oh, these are actually brand new lures that I got, so I'm gonna be testing them out either later today or another day. These are the hot dogs. Ow, some sharp rocks. That wind is either gonna blow the phone right into the water or blow it like just away. So I'm trying to find a piece like this, about a piece that's like an inch. I'm gonna throw this on a circle hook rigged any way possible like I'm just gonna try to hook it a couple times so hook it through the back come out spin it around pop the circle hook right back through and my tackle box yep so now I'm gonna throw it I'm gonna try to throw it right against the wall over there or maybe there's a lot of rock inside it's gonna be a lot of rock over there and boom I literally 
my drag so loose. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it up over here without my drag so loose because I'll be right here to make sure nothing takes the rod. Only thing I'm scared of is uh, the wind taking the drag and then by the time I'm going to reel the fish, I'm not going to have any more line on it. So I'm up. I'm out about. I'm, I'm right on that wall. So I'm at the bottom of that wall. I hit the wall. When I cast it, I hit the wall. And uh, while we're waiting, I'm just going to walk over here and I'm going to show you guys what we got. This is flooded. A lot of water. A lot of, a lot of wind. I'm not going over there, actually. There's that. That's a nice little dam to fish bass. I fished there before. Of course, I've caught nothing. But a uh, owl thorn bush. This is the underside of the oh, shit. Very, very, very bad conditions to be fishing today, friends and gentlemen and ladies. Very, very bad. I'm actually not very bright because I'm fishing this weather. But, uh, I will be posting a video of this. Or, like, um, ow! There was a spider on my eye. That's fun. I will be trying to post some some like little trailers to this on my TikTok account. It's Danny under it's underscore Danny64. Go follow if you want. But uh yeah. So we're just sitting here waiting. I don't know how to edit videos yet, so um it's gonna be a long video because a lot of waiting. Sorry. You guys could skip if you want. But um yeah. So we just gotta wait. Oh, I found a little jig head. Like a nice jig head. Yeah, it's not even rusted. Hold up, me. Oh, gotta make sure the wind don't take my tackle box. Or my rod, because that's actually what it wants to take. Oh, the jig head's all bent out. God, that scared the shit out of me. Well, um, yeah, we're just gonna wait. I can't sit on my tackle box because my tackle box holding my rod in place right now. Could just sit on there, but nah, there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll catch something. Maybe we won't. I might actually not even have um <clears throat> a hot dog on anymore. So in about two minutes, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna reel her in and rebate. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna have to cut the video short pretty soon and pick up filming a second part some other time because I am low on battery on my phone. And, um, oh, something just nailed it. I have something on there. Do I have it? No. Yeah, see, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna snap it right off. Okay, so let's, uh, let's rebake. Take a nice big piece of hot dog. Hooker, I think I'm just gonna put the hook straight through and out. Yeah. Hooked perfectly like that. And now I'm gonna just try my best to, uh, there's actually a lot of rocks straight ahead of where I am, so I'm just gonna do an overhead cast straight that way. A little bit too far. Alright, but that's gonna happen. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hold the rod in my in my lap and maybe something will bite. I doubt it though. And if not, we'll just I do have these pre-tied flukes. I mean not pre-tied, uh pre-hooked. And I have bullet weight, so I might just rig up a bottom rig type of set with that. That might be what I do. I don't know, we just have to see how stuff goes. You guys probably can't see. My line is going to be tight, like very tight. Got him. Wait, do I have to do it? Nope, he's gone. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to rig up for a uh, for a bottom rig. Actually, no, I'm not. My hot dog's still on. I'm going to recap. Wait, nope, I lost it. What the hell? Hot dog's these hot dogs come off very easily, so I'm surprised to see these go on. Get a little better. 
I'm gonna throw him into the middle of the bridge and I'm gonna do a little side cast. Yeah, at the cast. At a cast. I've had this rod and reel set up. Actually, I just set this rod and reel up this morning. But I already had the rod and I already had the reel. I had a bait caster on this rod. I'm not, I'm not a bait caster guy. I'm a spinning reel guy. So you guys can um, just think of what happens when I use a bait caster when I say that. Because trust me, it ain't pretty. Got him. This one's on. This one's on. Oh, yeah. This is what happens when I fish with different catfish. Half of the time, they don't even stay on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick off this, um, I'm going to take off this, this hook and this weight, turn it into my tackle box. I get I don't have to have more, like any normal thing would do. And, uh, I'm going to rig up a Texas rig with one of those fluke, fluke minnows, or whatever they're called. And, uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna fish one of those. Let me just get my bullet weights out of here. I am gonna be using a cloth. No, what am I saying? Um, a one half of like half an ounce. I don't know how to say that correctly. Oh, there was the bullet weight. Take one of these minnows. I'm gonna take one of my best Texas rig ones, which would have to be this one probably. Put that on my lap, put this one back. And, uh, now I tie my hook on the new style. New style, which means like, um, tie it like a noose. Just without being able to like slip looser and tighter. It stays tight. I'll show you guys right after. It's just make a one through and go around, 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 around. And put it through the hole and it looks like I'm going to put whatever you have extra so it ends up like that. Alright, I am going to, my plan is I'm going to let it hit the bottom. And I'm going to let it stay. I'm going to bounce it. Let it hit the bottom. I'm gonna switch up to a a spinner. No, I'm gonna get a little crazy. Take this worm off. I'm gonna get my spinner, the one that I was using earlier today. This one, my fall color spinner, and I'm gonna have the bullet weight stay on. The only thing is, is I'm gonna fish that extra weight. No, I'm going to up the, the, the bullet weight size because this one's small. So, uh, great, more wind. Gotta love wind. Put that there, I really don't even care. I'm going to put one of these monster sized um, bullet weights on because I'm just 
different. This one might actually be half ounce. Alright, now I'm going to turn my spinner on. I was fishing this spinner this morning, like I said, almost already 100,000 times because I'm just slow. I'm sorry. Don't, don't take that wrong because uh, YouTube, YouTube actually likes to take jokes that aren't even supposed to be offensive and take them very offensively. So I'm going to forget I ever said that. And yeah. So all right. Now back to what I was saying. Tie this on. And um, my battery says uh, 10%. So I'll see you guys um, in a part two, a different time. Have a good day.